The accused Club Q shooter is due back in court on Monday where they are expected to take a plea deal to state murder and hate charges. The Associated Press confirmed the development last week after speaking with survivors of the mass shooting who had received early information that a deal would be struck. That deal, though, would ensure a life sentence for the suspect. We know five people died. 17 others were hurt in this attack last year. And we want to bring in attorney and Denver 7 reporter Jessica Crawford to give us some legal perspective mm -hmm. on this case and the pending plea deal. Yes, yeah, so while prosecutors asked survivors to prepare for that Monday hearing, mm -hmm. we might hear victim impact statements from them on that day. The shooter faces more than 300 state counts. That includes murder and hate crimes. And again, a plea deal is expected. Some people may wonder why prosecutors would consider a plea deal for the shooter. Some find the idea controversial and they want the shooter to have to physically face a judge and jury. Plea deals can allow defendants to avoid the time and cost of defending themselves at trial and the publicity a trial could involve. The prosecution saves the time and expense of a lengthy trial and both sides are spared the uncertainty of having to go to court. But in this case especially, it could help the victims avoid continued exposure to the case and having to see that shooter in the courtroom again and again and again. This possible plea deal likely won't result in a less sentence for the shooter. The maximum state sentence for the charges the shooter is facing is life behind bars, and that's because three years ago Colorado abolished the death penalty. The federal government, though, has not abolished the death penalty. The U.S. Justice Department could be considering federal hate crime charges against the Club Q shooter. For that reason, George Brockler, the district attorney who took the Aurora Theater shooting case to trial, says a plea deal in the Club Q shooting case could be strategic. If you ask me why I think they're doing this, it's because I think they're trying to get the United States government not to seek the death penalty on this guy for the same behavior under federal law. And plea deals are used very often in criminal cases. So for context, in any given year, 98% of criminal cases in the federal courts end with a plea bargain. That's according to the American Bar Association. Thank you, Jessica. We will be watching this one closely. Denver 7 will be in El Paso County Monday as we learn more about the case and the possible plea deal. You can follow our coverage on air on our website, denver7.com and on the Denver 7 Plus app for your streaming device.